All right, you two, what is going on? It's the Outback Guru back here on the Man 15 Ultimate Team. As you see, I'm in the Super Bowl, but it is not my Super Bowl. It is my opponent's Super Bowl. This is the wild card game in my head-to-head -head season. So my opponent comes out on offense with DeMarco Murray and Andrew Luck in the backfield. He tries to go read option as we stuff it in the backfield for no game. Running no huddles early already in the game. Finds Jeremy Macklin on the drag right across the middle for a first down. Very next play, second and seven, he tries to hit the sideline again to Macklin as we bat it down with Eric Berry. So third and seven, he squares it in. It looks like Stevie Johnson, but he dropped it at the last moment. So fourth and seven, he's going to go for it. He saw the blitz coming, adjusted nicely as he hits Macklin again as he gets a nice hit laid on him. So third and six, Andrew Luck scrambling to the right, sees no one. Wagner is first to meet him as Mosley finishes him off. So fourth and two, can he convert? Looks like he gets it, but Pat Pete, look at the play awareness of Pat Pete to drag Jerry Rice behind the first down marker. And that is turnover on downs as you see Bo going to work right here with a huge 22 yard gain to start off our first offense possession. Vic goes up top to Demarius Thomas, but he overthrows him out of the back of the end zone. So second and 10, we're going to go back to the run game. Bo, nice spin move. Nice nine-yard gain as we got third and inches. Send a man in motion. Vic goes play action. Throws it off his back foot to Gronkowski to get all the way down to the five. So we got first and goal here. Going to try to punch it in with Bo. As we stick it right up the gut. As we take the lead in this Super Bowl 7-0. So Andrew Luck comes back out on offense looking a little flustered. Trying to force it into double coverage to Jerry Rice. Incomplete pass. But on second and 10, Antonio Gates makes a huge juke move on Deion Sanders. And did you see his lead blocker number 88? I did not see what it was. He celebrated too early. As we ended up catching up the gates. So let's see if that will cost um, cost him dearly right there. As he tries to go screen as Von Miller sniffs it out. So second and 12. He's running a lot of no huddle. The luck goes up top. Finds a hole in the busted zone. Dion was late to get there. So he ties it up. At 7 all. I'll come back out on offense. Vic had all day in the pocket, finds Dez Bryant for a nice first down game. So this time we go back to Bo Jackson. Look at the spin move. He is absolutely gashing his defense so far in this Super Bowl. And as we see right here, looks like Marcus Peters gets the pick on Demarius Thomas. He looked open initially, but he baited Vic into throwing that ball. So my opponent has great field position after the turnover. He's on the 39, he goes back to the run game with Murray. As Barry was first to meet him and Clint Dick cleans him up. We still a little pressure, but he manages to complete it anyway, but Dion makes a nice open field tackle. So first and 10 for my opponents, we're approaching the two minute warning. Andrew Luck is looking. I was in the vicinity, but I did not get an animation. It's Gates. For another huge game. So third and two, we fast forward to. Tries to bust it up the gut. What looks like uh, out of position, Donald Penn. And as you see, we get the stop on fourth down as he tried to sneak it in with his fullback yet again. But this time, we go back to the ground game with uh, Bo Jackson. As you see, time is slowly winding down in this half. I'm just trying to see if I can get any kind of crazy play to go up. But. I don't get anything. I get a nice run game going right there. But for some reason, I throw it to Luke Keekley, who plays for the other team. And off that mistake, my opponent manages to get three points. And that's a huge three points going into half. As I receive the ball to start off the second half of play, CJ2K trying to get loose. Nice little six-yard game. Very next play, I go screen to CJ2K. He hits a sick double juke right there. Gets into the open field, trying to make something happen, but it's brought down by Patrick Peterson. 
second and 10 a few plays later. Vic looking, but look at my mistake. I tried to throw off my back foot yet again, but I will take it's pretty much just like a sack right there. I don't know what was going on. So that was a huge loss. And then the very next play, I tried to just make up for it with a huge bomb down the field as Peters come down with a pick yet again. So two times we've tried to test Peters on the other side of the field right there. We've got picked both times. So Andrew Luck comes back out on offense. You see Darrell Rivas charge the ball loose with the nice hit stick right there. So we got 30 and 13. Luck has all day to throw as Bobby Wagner almost comes up with the pick that forces a three and out. My opponent punched me the ball back. 33 seconds remaining in this ball game. Both going back to the ground game. He's got 10 carries for 95 yards. So we turn and hand it to him again. Gets a tough three yards, so that'll bring it to third and two. He needs something. We need a big play. Vic goes play action. Hits Demarius Thomas on the right side of the field as that will end play in the third quarter. So, still a low scoring game as we go back to Bo Jackson. He gets a hole. He gets a block as he tries to get a stiff arm, but he's all the way down to the 21 with 131 yards rushing. So we're going to change it up. This time, CJ2K gets it. And if it wasn't for that suction tackle right there, but looks like Bobby Wagner, we might have been in the end zone, but Vic sneaks it in. He gives us a four-point lead. My opponent is in his Super Bowl. Just want to remind you of that. As he comes to play, as you can see, Luck having a nice game. Goes over the middle to keep his hopes alive. But I knew he was going back to that drag route as I hit on Bobby Wagner just when I felt he was going to throw it as we come down with the pick. So first and 10, we got a four-point lead as I go to Gronk on the play-action pass. Gets a nice game. We're always on the other side of the field on the 35. Bo goes back to the ground game as he gets popped. Perfectly plays hit stick. And that hit stick gives my opponent life. As you can see, he is all the way on the other side of the field now with a minute and 25 remaining. A touchdown will win it for him. A field goal will not be enough. So Andrew Luck drops back. He sees the man coverage, hits Jerry Rice to keep the drive alive. Following play, Andrew Luck rolls off to the right. He sees no one as he's just going to take the sack as Von Miller closes in on him. Second and 17, my opponent tries to hit. Uh, I don't know who the number 13 was, but Eric Berry was right there reading it as we was in a cover two right there. As that will pretty much ice this game. As you see, I'm just going to try to kill some clock here. Vic rolls out. He gets his man to bite as Gronk gets all the way down to the 21-yard line. So what a huge game. As we're going to go back to CJ2K as he hits the spin move. As he's going to walk right on in for the game clinching touchdown. As he gets posing like the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels right there with the muscle flex. So, looks like this game is out of reach, but my opponent still has life. Goes up top, it looks like PR Garçon. But I've had enough of this Tom Fuller as I send Heat, as I send Revis on the blitz. Forces the fumble, but he recovers it. And look at this outstanding play by positional hero Patrick Peterson. In the back of the end zone and has the awareness to get his feet down to get the interception to count. So now we're just killing the clock, and that is going to be it. I don't even know. I hate that they do that, even though it's a Super Bowl. I get it. But that was not my Super Bowl. As you see, we play Super Bowl spoilers as we win by 11. So that was the wild card game. I will get you out the um, divisional game in the next day or so. So this is Outback Guru signing out. Peace.